So today, I'm gonna try to get that 240 up on the trailer. And get it to the boys at Kiwi Performance. I don't know if I'll have time to get it there today, per se. Get it on the trailer and ready to go. That way tomorrow, when I get home from work, I can just go for it. Let's go see what we can do. So the 240 is loaded on the trailer and ready to go to Kiwi. I have to pardon my enthusiasm today because uh, well it's Sunday and it's been a busy week even though I haven't been at work. I've been just doing stuff here around the shop and then yesterday all day at Brent's. I'm pretty tired. It's just one of those days. But nonetheless, even when you're tired or not feeling it, if you could just take that one step, get one step closer to the goal, that's a good step. Probably not gonna do too much today because I've got some family thing to go do, stuff like that. But the car's loaded on the trailer. When I get back later, maybe we'll throw the motor and trans on there too. And it's ready to go to Kiwi, hopefully tonight, given that I have enough time. The weather doesn't look so hot. Given that it's not raining, hopefully things are gonna work out. What a dog. So everything's loaded up in the car. If you can see it, I don't know if you can see it though, because reflections, windows. Inside, fuel system, everything. The wiring, the fuel lines, all the AN fittings. I got the A1000 fuel pump along with the fuel cell. That I'm not quite sure about, because I noticed a lot of these drift guys are running the fuel safe with the metal casing around it. So that one I have might not be up to par, but we'll hope for the best. Motor and trans are still in the garage. I'm gonna put those on the trailer. These ugly wheels on there. No suspension on it, really not much for brakes, but we're gonna do a hub conversion. All the brakes and everything are gonna have to change anyway because we're gonna be running bigger rotors, five bolt lugs. That way at least I can use all the rims and everything off the RX-7 on this car too, which will be a big help because I think I have like five sets of drift wheels now, rims, so that's like, 10 tires a day I can burn, that's all right. Since I'm not bringing this right away, I'm gonna bring it later on. I'm just gonna put the trailer back in its spot with the car on it, and that way, when it's time to move everything else, we just pull up to the garage, load it up, and we're good to go. So I'm hoping not to get back too late tonight so we can load the motor trans on that and get that out to Kiwi. As soon as that's done, I'm gonna take the RX-7. We're gonna store that for the winter because uh, in the last two years, I've put a lot of work in that car and it's still far from being where it should be, where I want it to be. So I don't wanna think about it this winter. I'm just gonna park that car in storage and that'll be it. Go deal with it in the spring and hopefully have a better approach and be kind of in a better mood about it. So then that puts a whole bunch of extra room in the garage. And that car's just been sitting around way too long. For sure we gotta do something about that. I'm gonna make it a priority that this winter that gets worked on, gets running. We've changed it around a few times and it's gonna change around again. But we have kind of an idea, sort of a way to go with this. Hopefully it works out. RX-7 in storage, 240 gone to Kiwi. I'll have just the Acadian and the Camaro in the garage this winter. So while this is being worked on at Kiwi, I'll hopefully have the Camaro done, start working on the Acadian, because that's been sitting around for way too long too. And the idea here is by next summer, I can say that all my cars run. RX-7, 240, Acadian, Toyota, that's, Toyota just keeps burning. I don't have to worry about that. I gotta go do that family thing now. I'll be right back. I'm back, back from the little 
family get together thing. It's uh, about quarter after five. I'm still waiting on confirmation from Jay to bring the car down, the motor and everything else. So I figure while we're waiting for that confirmation, even if I don't get it for tonight, might as well load the motor and the trans and everything else on the trailer. That way when I get home from work tomorrow night, I can just jump in and go. Let's get some motors and stuff on there. Now to get the motor and trans, the transmission's easy. I can pick it up on my own. Motor's pretty heavy, but that's why the tractor's there. So, get the door open and the motor near the door so we can pick it up with the fork. I've seen way too many fail videos online about doing exactly this with a set of forks and an engine, so put a pair of these vice grips on the end and Maybe that'll help keep it all together and keep it from falling off, making me look like an idiot. I'm just hoping for the best on this one. <laughs> That's gonna have to be really, really, really tied down. Well guys, the tractor is put away. The truck is backed into its spot with the trailer on it because it is past six o'clock and needless to say, I don't think I'm gonna hear back from the guys at Kiwi tonight. So tomorrow's another day. I'll have news for you tomorrow. I'll get back at it. I'll keep you updated on this 240 project. See how it goes and while that's getting worked on, well, we might be able to start working on something else. Keep watching, hit that subscribe button, like, share, just have fun, enjoy. Peace out and stay happy.